guys, it's me, Julie, and this is a very exciting video because I'm going to be doing my holiday makeup tutorial video for the season. Because you can use this for any holiday event, like Christmas or New Year's or anything. So, hopefully you guys will really like this video. I'm just going to be starting off with my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Spectrum Dry Touch Sunscreen. And it actually does not leave my face oily, believe it or not. I love it so much, and it has sunscreen, so it's really important that you put sunscreen and moisturize your face on before you put any makeup whatsoever so I'm just gonna rub that all over my face first and start off with that and next I'm gonna be using my concealer and this is actually an acne treatment concealer when I had acne it's by Murad and it has acetic acid in it to get rid of any acne that you have I use it underneath my eye circles because I actually really like the coverage that it gives me so I also put it on blemishes or spots that I have on my face so I'm just gonna be doing that too then I just blend it in to make it look good and to add an even pigmentation on my skin as you can tell I am currently struggling with finding where these spots are because this is the first time I've actually used a mirror on my on my computer so it is quite hard for me to actually master it I'm just rubbing all the spots in as you can tell and then next I'm going to be using my eyelid primer from my eye makeup that I'm going to be putting on. It actually keeps it on longer. This is by e.l.f. by the way. It's only like a dollar and it actually works very, very well. I highly recommend it. I use it every single day and it makes my eye makeup stay on and it does not make it all smudgy and yucky because I hate it when it looks smudgy and yucky. So I'm just going to rub that on and it works really, really well for me. Okay, so still rubbing on that primer, and then next I'm going to go on to my Mineralized Powder by Bare Minerals. And it's the Mineral Veil, sorry about that, but I really love it. There's my giant fluffy brush, and I really love that brush. It's so big and fluffy. And then I'm just going to put this all over my face to kind of set, set the concealer because I don't wear foundation. And I actually don't normally wear concealer unless it's underneath my eye circles, but I decided to do it for this video because you guys will like it. And then just rubbing it all over. Make sure that you put it all over your face to make it so it's less oily. And then also put it on your eyes and on your th throat and neck and area as well. Because that way you can get the equal color. Next I'm going to be using my e.l.f. My favorite baked powder from them. It's an eyelash or an eyelid powder in the color Enchanted. And I have my brush but I don't like using brushes. So I'm going to use my finger. I'm just going to put that on and I love baked powders because they actually stay on so much longer for me. This was also from the collection in e.l.f. and I love, love, love this color because I love gold sparkly colors. And what a better color for the season, right? I mean, holiday colors, you know, gold, I just love it. Make sure to put it on your inner corner of your eyelid, by the way, and there I am singing. I started singing really loud, I don't know why. I was just in the holiday spirit singing Christmas songs, you know how that goes. And I'm just putting it on my entire eyelid for full coverage on there because I'm just going to use that color only. And then I'm going to be using my Art Liner by Lancome, my favorite, favorite, favorite liquid eyeliner ever. This is my favorite thing in the entire world. I highly recommend it. I use it every single day. Yes, see, that's my favorite right there. Um, I've used a lot of different eyeliners before, but this is so far my favorite, and I'm obsessed with it. Like, it's just so good. It stays on the entire day. It does not get smudgy, and it is actually very, like, dark and black, so I love that about it. And as you can tell, I kind of messed up there, so I, for I apologize for that. Um, it's because this is also my first time using my mirror on my camera here <laughs> so it actually kind of looks smudgy but I ended up fixing it and doing a good job at covering it up um I am actually pretty good at eyeliner it's just that with this mirror it is hard for me to do so I ended up switching over to a different mirror sorry about that if you guys want me to do a separate video for eyeliner itself I mean I figured you guys knew how to do that one already but I just did it a thin line on the entire eyelid then I just winged it out the very end as you will see um, it actually, this is my makeup look for the majority of the time when I go out and have fun, you know, like I like to wing it out. You see, I'm winging it out right there. I love having wings, you know, Christmas themed, uh, New Year's themed, perfect idea to have it winged out like that. And it gives it a more dramatic look. And I actually did a really good job on my right one, but my left one, as you could tell earlier, got a little bit messed up. So I had to go back and redo that one. So there you go, there's my eyeliner, and it is still in the work making right there. <laughs> Waiting for that to be done. Next, I'm going to be moving on to my 
eyelashes because I'm doing a dramatic look here. I'm using my, I think it's by Tweezerman, my eyelash curler. It's a really good eyelash curler. I really love it because it's flexible and it makes them really curly. And I am currently curling the lashes right there, as you can tell. Um, then I'm going to be using my They're Real by Benefit Collection Mascara. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite ever. I love it so much, as you can tell by my reaction. Um, this is actually my favorite mascara, as I already said. It works very, very well. I have seen a lot of other beauty gurus who really, really love it too. And it volumizes and lengthens so much and it looks really good i just i'm obsessed i am obsessed the only thing is that it costs a lot and it also is very hard to take off but that's okay because it stays on the entire day and it makes my lashes look that extra dramatic look that i'm always looking for now i gotta get those bottom lashes don't forget your bottom lashes and make sure to do two coats if you are going for a more dramatic look i did two coats i don't know if you could tell um and then there you go all done bottom lashes included Okay, next I'm going to go for my Lancome Black Eyeliner Pencil Liner for the bottom of my eyes right there. I'm going on the bottom waterline, and I'm not doing the entire one. As you can tell, I'm only doing like a little quarter of it because it actually makes your eyes look bigger and it opens them up more. If you just stick to that corner area right there, so just make sure to get that inner crease corner as you can tell I did. And it gives it a more dramatic look and makes it connected to your long wing eyeliner right there. So it looks really good. I love this look and I have been trying it out a lot currently. So love it. And then make sure to put some concealer underneath your black eyeliner because otherwise it'll smudge and look really weird and ugh, I hate it. That's my biggest pet peeve when my liner goes down on below. So I put concealer on to make sure that doesn't happen. Just rub it on well and it shouldn't happen as long as you have concealer there because the concealer kind of like stops it from doing that. Next, I'm going to be doing my blush. Now I have my really cool bouncy blush in the color Coffee Cake and I love this one so much except it kind of got squishy and broke as you can tell. <laughs> Does this happen to everyone else's? Let me know because I feel like it's just mine. But I love the color. It is perfect for the winter time because in the winter I like more browns and like darker reds and such because I feel like pink is more for spring and summer. So I'm using my, I already said it, coffee cake in the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush. And I actually really like the bouncy blushes. And it's not my exact favorite, but I really do like them. So make sure to get those cheekbones in. Yep, all good. Next, I'm going to be doing my lips. And I am using my chapstick in the candy cane, which I absolutely love. My favorite chapstick in the entire universe right there. It tastes like candy canes. And it plumps my lips for me. Like, it's a chapstick that actually plumps your lips. It works pretty well. So I like to put that first because I like some moisture before I put on lipstick. And I'm going to be using this Dior lipstick in the shade Addict. And I actually really love this. I have been looking for a matte red lipstick for my lips for a while now. I tried out some MAC ones and those didn't work too well. So I really like this Dior one. I find that it works very, very well. If it's too expensive though, because it can be on the more pricey side, you can always go for MAC also. They have really nice matte red lipsticks there too. I just really like the way that this one looks with this look, so just for a bolder look on Christmas, you know, it's red, or for New Year's, you know, gold and red, you know, awesome look right there. Next, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and this is so that your makeup will stay longer, and it actually sets your makeup really well. I like it a lot, and I actually saw it recommended on another one of my favorite beauty vloggers. And she said that it worked well, so I use it, and it works well, and it sets it well. And then, there you go. There's my completed look for you guys. Hope you really like that one. As you can tell, I'm, like, having fun with it. You know, I really love the whole lipstick duo, as long as you can get some cool, bold colors in there. I love it. And then, I absolutely just love Christmas colors in general. And then, <laughs> here I broke out in Lyric. I started singing Christmas songs, as you can tell. And then as for my hair, if you guys want a tutorial for that, I just curled it and used a couple products to make it all bouncy and wavy, you know. Kind of like a beachy curl, but for winter time, it's more of like a loose curl. Because I hate tight curls, so I like to do loose curls. And then there I am singing again, sorry. Um, and then there's the look again. Let me know if you guys like it. Thumbs up if I helped you out in any way. And I hope you guys really like this look. It worked well for everyone. And I hope you guys use it because I would love to see. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Love you all. And subscribe. And see you later. Merry Christmas, guys. Okay, love you. Bye. Happy holidays. Here's my outfit, by the way. And then here I am in my outfit. My hat I got from Target. And then I got my shirt slash sweater. It's a crop sweater from Romway. I really, really love it. And it's like a white creamy color. 
Then I got my skirt from Tiger Mist. It is an acid wash Tiger Mist skirt, and I love it so much. Then my tights are from Forever 21, and my boots are from Steve Madden. I really love those boots so much. And I apologize for the poor quality of this video. I actually filmed it on my iPhone. Over here is my coat. If you are dressing up for a winter-ish kind of colder look, I got this coat from Macy's, but you can just put any kind of coat on it. And then once again, I apologize for the poor quality of this because it's just very, you know, sucky. But I hope you guys really liked it. Please thumbs up and comment below if you guys are using any of these looks. Have a wonderful holiday. Thank you and bye!